Good evening, it's Latasha Thomas, your Worth Coach and Restoration Strategist. Tonight, I am bringing you your moment of clarity. Tonight's topic is come as you are. Can I keep it real with y'all for just a minute? Um, today, I am just coming as I am. Um, I have had an interesting week where I was very challenged emotionally, um, poured into emotionally, and I've had some exciting and amazing times all at the same time. This past week has been very interesting, full of ups and downs. And one thing that I realized while speaking to one of my mentors was that it's okay for me to be authentic in the moment and for me to have flaws and pain and hurt and tears. Um, I know that there are times when I have been frustrated with myself because of how I felt and how I struggled with trying to manage my emotions and my feelings and um, feeling overwhelmed and getting frustrated that I was even overwhelmed and wondering why I didn't have the emotional control that I wanted to have in that moment. And so what I wanted to share with you guys is that it's okay to take that mask down. It's okay to allow yourself to feel and it's okay to be in those situations and in those moments. Sometimes those moments are opportunities for us to turn around and to rebrand, re-strategize and um, come up with a new solution or even to implement the things that we have drifted away from. I know for me, as I began to reincorporate more things into my weekly routine, as I transitioned um, to different portions of my career and things have changed for me, um, I have found myself not doing the very things of self-care that were so helpful for me in the past. And I struggled with that. Um, I struggled with being able to maintain those healthy habits and it's so important for us to re-engage those things, for us to um, make sure that we are exercising, that we are eating better. Um, maintaining that consistency is so key. And, and what I learned over this past week is that <clears throat> when I didn't maintain that consistency and when I fell off even just a little bit, um, it rocked my emotions and it made me feel um, unstable. And I don't like that feeling. Um, but even in those moments, it's okay. It's okay for us to come as we are. It's okay for us to take off the mask and reveal those true raw feelings to our friends and to our mentors and to the people who love and support us the most. And so if you are in that situation and you are feeling like you just can't deal, like right now is just overwhelming. Today is too much. Um, come as you are. Be able to be raw and authentic in that, even if it's just writing in your journal and being who you are in that moment and saying, you know, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, I'm overwhelmed, it's okay. Um, and that was some of the best words that I heard over the past week that helped me get through the hurdle. Um, crying those tears and letting go of those emotions and realizing that I don't have to control every aspect of my life and that things are going to feel unsteady. Things are going to shift and feel uncomfortable and it's okay to do that. And so today, um, I'm also coming as I am physically and I, I feel good about it. I feel like, you know, I am who I am and I'm going to be who I'm going to be. And, um, this is my authentic self, and I hope that that's freeing for some of you, um, that you don't have to go in and like put on that mask, right? Um, that you can go to your friends or you can talk to someone about your honest truth. It's so freeing, and I hope that you will be able to find that opportunity in something and in someone. Uh, so my, my main point today is um, that I want you to be authentic even if you can only speak those truths to yourself and to God, um, do that because it will it will change your atmosphere. And also be sure to implement some different things that will help you to get back on track. For me, it is exercise. For me, it's writing things down. For me, it's doing my to-do list, making time for my children, um, and being around people that love and support me. Hey, Naja. Um, 
because they bring a different type of energy. And I was able to spend some time with my sisters this weekend um, celebrating my birthday and um, really just allowing people to pour into me and to do things for me, which is very difficult for me normally. Um, and, and really resting in that and being okay with that. And then letting my guard down, you know, went out and had lunch and or and a brunch and it was amazing. And me being my authentic self, I got spoiled a little bit more than I would have. And um, by, you know, being in a shell that I can be in. And um, I definitely just, I felt good about it. Even though the previous week was stressful and I had tears in my eyes and I was holding back tears at times and struggling with letting go of fear, anxiety, and worry. Um, when I finally did that, when I reset my atmosphere, exercised that morning, um, spent time around some loved ones, it was so freeing. And I want you guys to be okay in that space. Um, you don't need to sit there, right? We don't want to get stuck there. But be okay in the space where you're where you're overwhelmed and don't feel like you have to say, oh girl, I'm blessed and highly favored every time somebody asks you how you feel. Um, don't pour your, your stuff all over everybody, but have somebody you can be authentic with. It's so key um, and it's so freeing. So I hope that tonight you uh, feel like you can come as you are in this platform, that you can come as you are in this group. Uh, I would love for some of you to continue to invite other women that you think would benefit from these moments of clarity. I choose not to overwhelm your inbox um, with posts and things, and I try to just give you content that is meaningful, and I hope that it has been meaningful. Um, feel free to share this with other women. I will continue to build um, outside of this platform in the near future. Uh, so I hope that you guys would join me and be supportive in that. But I love each of you and I hope that you are okay with being authentic and that you're okay with coming as you are. I love you and I hope you have an amazing week. God bless.